guys 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 it's another tutorial tuesday this is mozak's music channel my name is vera sax and your tutor for the day is mozak stay tuned and keep learning yeah all right guys wow 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 this is the whole the whole stuff has changed this is our audio studio where we record sound, live recordings, studio jams. Okay, so we're back from our video studio because we are going into improvisation proper for those of you on saxophone. Many of you have heard of jazz improvisation. Now, today we are going into it. From now on, we'll be talking about improvisation. We are putting everything that we've learned, we're putting it together. And then we're going to, we're going to see how you are going to make use of all the ingredients that we have learned in the saxophone syllabus. Okay, back to it. Talking about the saxophone uh, improvisation, jazz improvisation, there are different types of, of uh, improvisation. Um, there's what we call the B-pop era, the B-pop uh, jazz, that's the root jazz. But in contemporary jazz, we're looking at melody, basically melody, we're looking at basic chords, basic scales and those scales that you can use to communicate those sweet tones of the saxophone. I, I, you have a lot of saxophonists out there that you can start listening to. One of the first thing that you must do when you're learning saxophone as far as improvisation is concerned is to listen, listen and listen. Yeah. What you listen to is what you become. Exactly. Now, as you continue to listen to jazz, uh, contemporary jazz uh, guys, I have some great um, mentors that I have listened to. I like my mentor is Ke Kekwalom. I like listening to him a lot. That's why when you see me play, there are lots of leaks that I actually stole from him and modified myself. So that is just I like his tone. I like his vibrato. I like his everything. I just like everything about Kekwalom, and I have I listen to him a lot. Another person I like listening to is Gerard Bright. I like his his use of the Lydian scales his tonguing and then I like his I just like the way he puts his modes together and then creates some you know some um, some articulation of these modes and scales I also like Dave Coase for that sweetness of sound I like uh, Kenny G for the sweetness of the soprano sax that his you know smooth long tones I just like these guys I like a lot of guys. For the ladies, you like um, Angela Christie Lucy. on the gospel side. And, and the then Candy Dolpha. Candy She yeah. loves these guys. And then some other sweet saxophonists out there like uh, Grover Washington Jr. You have uh, David Sanborn. These are guys that uh, you can talk about the, the contemporary jazz. Talking about the B-pop era, you'll be having some uh, people you call um, Joshua Redman, Charlie Parker. And a lot of them, I, I actually concentrated on the contemporary jazz. Just try and be listening, 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 and listening to these jazz saxophonies. Okay, today, the next thing you need to talk about is, what is improvisation? What is improvisation? When we talk about improvisation, improvisation is composing music on the spot. You are actually composing music yeah. on the spot. So... All right, so we are in the studio now. I can just play something that is playing on the background. The instrumentalists are there giving you the notes, the, the, the root notes, the chords. And then you are asked to improvise over the melody uh, or over the, over, over the chords that you are hearing. So how do you, you are just there. You, of course, you know your scales, you know the chords. But right there on stage, you are, you are playing things over this chord that you have never really thought that was the way it will go yeah. but the ability to hear something in your mind and play it in your hand is what jazz improvisation is all about it's not just about just playing anything that comes you actually know what you're doing but you cannot just tell how it is just spontaneous it's just coming as spontaneous that is why the normal um classical music that is written for you you actually rehearse it you know how it is but in when when you come to jazz improvisation, you don't nobody's writing your notes for you. You just know the 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 things that surround the music. You know the chords. You know the modes that fits into those chords and the melody. And then you just go ahead and you just keep playing those stuffs 
and playing them and playing them as it comes right on the spot. That is where the hazard is very important. How you practice your skill, how you your warm up, your daily warm up, your warm up before going up stage is very important. And then what you have been hearing, and then you have your ability to produce some of them right on stage at the spot is what makes you a jazz improviser. All right, Vera Sax. Today, I think we should just, by way of introduction, I just want to look at some skills that we are going to be using to improvise. Talking about the scalar improvisation. There are different types of improvisation. I'm going to rely on three types of improvisation. Number one, we're going to be talking about the scalar improvisation. We're going to be talking about the, the caudal improvisation. We're going to be talking about the modal improvisation. Scalar, we're talking about the skills, using skills to, you know, really add some colors to what you are doing and then to actually improvising based on the chords that you are hearing in the music like when you have a chord progression how do you solo on top of that chord in such a way that you are in chord you are in tune and you are not out of chord and then talking about the modal improvisation where you begin to introduce modes that really add some dynamics and some colors to what you are doing right here on stage uh, of course, don't forget the permutations that we have taught you. The permutations that you're going to be, you're going to need those permutations when you're doing um, um, jazz yeah, improvisation. And then another thing you're going to need is that leaks and, and phrases that you must have listed and you have inculcated into your play that is really going to be useful to you. You're going to need some of these leaks and phrases that you have listed and, and you got from your your mentors that is going to really form those leaks that comes over and over and over and over. You just use them to sew things together and put some ideas together. And then those are those things. These permutations, you use it to put some ideas. You need, use it to connect ideas. You use it to connect, you know, whatever you're doing. All right, guys. So that is what we're going to do. Okay, so... Today we are going to be talking about those skills that you will need in your everyday improvisation. Number one, you're going to need a tonic scale on Kisi. Okay, on Kisi. <laughs> the pentatonic scale. <laughs> That's your pentatonic. What of pentatonic B-pop? That's just add your re or your more to your normal pentatonic. Let me give you the note. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. That is the diatonic scale, the major scale. Two. Uh, pentatonic do re mi so la do la so mi re do then your b pop pentatonic do re ri mi so la do la so mi mo re do that's how it is that's the three major scales that anytime i play you're going to always hear me use and then let's go to the minor scales that you will always see me use when we are trying to improvise over minor chord changes all right on the minor you will you will hear me use the natural minor which is do more faf do re more fa so zi do 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 to the so fa more do. Then on the relative yeah. is the same thing as la ti do re mi fa so la la so fa mi re do ti la. Yeah. Okay. Let me go again. Yeah. The relative minor of C is your E flat. And then you are interpreting it as do re mo fa so zi to do do to zi so fa mo re do or you are interpreting it as la ti do re mi fa so la on key e flat you are still saying the same thing the next minor scale that you always you will always use is your pentatonic 
minor. Your pentatonic minor is do mo fa so to do do to so fa mo do. On the relative, that's if la have it at. La do re mi so la so mi re do la. La do re mi so la so mi re do la. The next one you are going to use is your blue scale. Your blue scale is. That's do mo fa fi so to do do to so fi fa mo do. On the relative, you have it of. La do re li mi so la la so mi mo re do la. Which is your pentatonic B pop minor. Yeah. So. That's how it goes. So these are the three scales. I've given you the major and I've given you the minor. On the major, you have it as on the minor, you have it as on the pentatonic major. On the pentatonic minor, you have it up. Then the pentatonic B pop, you have it up. On the pentatonic, uh, the minor side, which is your blue scale, you go. Those are the scales that the three basic major and minor scales that you must learn. Let me just do a kind of a little improvisation on this scale. I'm going to be switching from major to minor, major to minor, minor to major on these scales. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
just on the wow. basic. I'm just playing what I know you'll be able to catch up with me. Not do so much. Just putting those three minor skills and three major skills together. In your next class, we're going to introduce you to what you call the melodic minor, the harmonic minor, the Dorian scale, the Lydian scales, and those other scales that you will need when it comes to improvisation on the contemporary side. All right, Vera Sass, what do you have to say? Oh, my God. I was kind of away. I was so kind of away by those things. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is a serious business. Yes. You got to be listening to this over and over, over and over. Are you having any practices? So you mean this is how our class is going to take oh my God. shape every Tuesday from yeah. now on? So, guys, please. Thank you for those of you that subscribe. Continue to subscribe. You. I love you. I love you. I love you. Continue. Love you. Yeah. For we... those of you that are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Yes. Yeah. Just subscribe, subscribe. every Tuesday, subscribe. every now and then. You're going to be seeing videos coming okay, your way. Subscribe. A lot of you have, have really expressed how grateful you are to us in these classes. Yeah. We're also grateful for you for joining us yeah. and uh, for subscribing. You, we are happy you fulfill your dream as you help us fulfill. Our dream. All right, guys. Bye, see, guys. You see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Bye.